Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. Baxter is outside. He's just realized that my garbage can out there rolls, so now he's barking at <laughs> Ding bat. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing uh, another um, one of those wildflower pours, that variation on the wandering wing pour that I did the other day. Uh, I was really happy with this one, that one, and I was trying to figure out ways to refine it and make it a little bit better. So what I've come up with today is actually, I hope, going to be really, really cool. This is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have painted my sides and edges with the Payne's Gray, and I have taped and pinned the back. Okay, so we're going to be doing a split cup pour, but we're actually going to be doing two. So I'm going to use this big 22 ounce one from acrylicpourintools.com. Thank you, Tracy Reed. Um, we're going to be using this big one, and we're also going to be using the smaller 10 ounce one and to do sort of a double decker wildflower pour. Baxter, you need to stop. We're going to do like a double decker wildflower pour, which I'm really excited about. So the colors we're going to be putting in the first cup, the bigger one, the main colors, are going to be Golden's Turquoise Thalo. And this is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol and a little bit of Elmer's Glue All just like I had the other day. That's the Golden's Turquoise Thalo. And then we're gonna be using Golden's Payne's Gray. Okay. And then I have this one that I haven't had in a while. This is Treasure Gold Series from Folk Art. This is Aquamarine. Really pretty. Calm down, Mighty Bork. Okay, now you're just being bad. Sit down, please. We also have Amsterdam Titanium White. And we have some 24 karat gold. That's left over from the original wildflower pour. So these five are going to go into the bigger split cup. And then in the smaller split cup, I'm going to be using the titanium white, some pyrrole orange from Golden. And this is going to be like a pop, like a real nice accent color. Um, a little bit of that leftover purpley violet, sparkly violet, which was the dioxazine purple mixed with a little bit of the deco art sapphire, or sapphire, deep sapphire. So those two together with the white and the bronze and maybe gold also in the smaller cup. So, I also have a cup of Amsterdam Titanium White for my base coat with a piece of dog hair on the side of it. Thanks, Max. <laughs> oh, that's maybe my hair. That's not his hair. <laughs> yeah, I don't think his hair is quite that long. <laughs> okay. So, the game plan is to kind of go out from the corner again. Let me show you the last one. It's not completely dry yet. But it's drying. Just the center is pretty wet right now. And I think this goes this way. So this one, I kind of felt like the composition got away from me because I confused myself. First, I was thinking this was going to be the center. And then as I was tilting it, I was seeing this pretty dark part with some more petals down there. And that's where it sort of got away from me when my I lost my focus. So, But I do like this. I love how it's turning out. It's drying really, really pretty. And I think we're going to go with that corner concept this time. So, all right, so we're going to put down a little bit of white. As I was painting the sides and edges Payne's gray, I realized I'm using a white base coat. But <laughs> it'll be okay. It doesn't matter, ultimately. Any schmutz. All right, so we're going to, I'm not going to put down the whole thing. I'm going to put down sort of like a puddle, kind of like I did last time. God help us, I think that's his new favorite toy. Is that the garbage can? Yes. Because it rolls, you see. Anything on wheels must be destroyed because it's evil, apparently, if you ask Baxter. Okay, so we've got a little puddle of white there. I think I'm actually going to turn this this way. Okay, now we need to layer a cup. See, I'm getting excited. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so we're going to layer the big one first. And I think we're going to put that turquoise on one side. I'm not going to fill it up all the way because I'm not going to need that much paint. About two thirds of the way. And we're going to put the Payne's Gray on the other side. We do, however, want the same amount of paint. 
and then I'm going to use that beautiful aquamarine in the middle. Such a pretty color. I haven't used it in a while. Probably because these are kind of expensive. But. Okay. Then we're going to put some white on one side. And some gold on the other. So that's the big one is layered now. Now with Payne's Gray and the turquoise on the two ends, aquamarine in the middle and then white and then gold. And then the little one, we're going to layer this one with some of the Dioxazine purple sparkly stuff. And again, I'm only gonna, I'm not gonna, well, I didn't mean to fill it all the way up. <laughs> and we're gonna put the orange on the other side. white in the middle. And we're going to put bronze on one side. Did he finally lay down? Uh -huh. Thank God. <laughs> and gold on the other. So I really like using the color that's in the center chamber to be the same color as the base coat because what I found happens is it sort of ends up looking like the rest of your colors are floating on the surface and it gives it a very cool three-dimensional aspect. Okay, so HOA, the game plan is we're gonna come out from this corner. We're gonna first do the big split cup here and then I'm gonna do the smaller one in here and then we might do another layer of the first cup there. Okay. okay. So the first mistake that I made in the last video was I was really low and I was going really slow. And the second time I started to do it, I was up a little higher and I was actually really flinging the paint and getting some speed in there and some, and it kept those beautiful lines. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do this time too. Okay, and I'm really gonna try to fan it out. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Okay, here we go. Leaving some space in between them. Okay. It's a little wonky in there, but that's alright. Alright, let's do the second cup now. We're gonna start it a little lower, like over here. That's really pretty though. Okay. I love the turquoise on the paint. Okay, are you ready, darling? Yes, ma'am. That's pretty cool so far. Yeah, I like it. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the big cup and do another layer, a smaller layer maybe. Okay. That's pretty cool. It is. I wish we had a little bit more of the white over there, but that's okay. It um, doesn't seem like a lot of paint though. Oh, don't worry, we'll get there. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of the dioxazine purple and the Payne's gray over here on the corner. Just going to kind of spread those out a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more white right here. Okay, let's actually spread that out, spatula. It's so funny, I get excited about something and then it's like, I just want to do it and I forget crucial steps. <laughs> I have to force myself to slow down and think. So I decided to go with a white base coat this time because I want those colors to really pop. I think they were beautiful on the darker base coat last time, 
but I want to see how this works if those colors show up more on the white, which I think they will. All right. I'm very excited about this. I hope it works. Okay. I'm just going to take this this way for a second. And as HOA brought up, we really want to focus, try to keep those lines straight and not put any squiggle in them. All right, so let's go off this way first just a little bit. Actually, we're just going to walk this down the canvas a little. to go straight first and then deal with the sides and edges later. Hmm. We may even need to do the whole thing again once I guess maybe it would have been better to put the whole base coat down so it was right now it's just that side is moving the rest of it's not. We might surprise ourselves and get what we want actually anyway, so let's see. We can always do more. I still have more paint in both of those cups, so I'll take it off this edge and come down. Take it back now. And we're gonna shift the weight of the paint this way and down a little bit. And this way, down a little bit. Let's actually go down off of that bottom edge. Oop, tape. Okay. Now that that's anchored over there, let's take this down again. Shift. I do want to keep that top edge white. I just want to go over the edge real quick. Take it back again. different now. Okay. I'm going to take this off of that corner now and let it just push that a little bit and then we'll bring it back sharply. I love that orange in there. It's really cool. What do you think, HOA? Oh, yeah. Ignore this bottom section for the moment. Okay, okay now we're going to go down. going to cover up that it's okay. We can always add it back later if we want it. I do kind of want it coming off the corner, so. Ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. Take it back this way just a little bit. I'm gonna walk it back towards the center. I 
open this up a little bit. That's looking really cool. Try to refocus the way to the paint over here a little bit so that I can open up that section of the orange. Now it's over here, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go this way and it's going to open up those lines. What do you think, HOA? I think it's really neat. I like the Take some of this off. Had to. Can you take some of that off too? Some more of this? Yeah. I like this though. This is like a lot of color right there. Yeah. Looks Maybe what now. we could do is take it down. There's a little Birds of Paradise thing going on. open this up a little bit more. Let's see, where is the way to paint? You figure out where it is, you just tilt and then watch where it's moving. Okay, so it's all right here right now and it's coming down. If I can get it to over here, then I can take this that way. And there. So now we're just going to stand it up and open up these lines. There we go. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. What do you think, honey? Indeed. Better? Yes. Okay. All right, well, I like this a lot. I love this. The only thing I wish, I wish there was a tiny bit more orange in this bottom section, but that we've stretched it out and that was only in the middle. So, you know what I could do is I could put a little bit of another small through there with the orange cup, do you think? To add a little bit more color in here? Or do you think it's good and we're done? I think it's good and we're done. Okay. Or I could just like take my stick and do a couple of little orange lines in there. Let's try uh, that. with this now. I really like this a lot. So this was our variation on the wandering wing pour, the uh, wildflower pour, if you will. I kind of like that name. Um, I think this turned out really neat. I like the layers. I like how we see that first top pour that I put down and then the middle pour had a lot of the orange in it and then we did the bottom one again. I think maybe next time one more layer of the second color. So it would be two of each and then maybe we wouldn't get this and I think it, I put a lot. So if I had done smaller ribbons, then maybe I wouldn't have this wonkiness so much. Right. But I don't mind this. It gives it that wild look. And the distinct lines still give it the look like uh, petals. 
So I really like this a lot. I'm very happy with this. Um, I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us. We are in the midst of the Christmas season, the Hanukkah season, and I'm so happy to be here with all of you and HOA and I and our girls at Baxter and Ming Ming wish you all the happiest of holidays. Celebrate, be happy, be cheerful, be light, and we'll see you real soon. Okay, so this is a few days later. I'm so happy that the sun is shining and I can actually show you guys the dried result in the sunlight. <laughs> this one turned out so pretty. Oops, shadow, sorry. We'll go this way. With that beautiful folk art treasure gold aquamarine and the Payne's gray in the first cup. And then we had that little pops of orange and then deep purple, that purpley violet. Really, really cool. I love the orange in this. I think it's so pretty. And I love where we added those little bams of orange just to tie it in more. This corner up here is gorgeous though, where everything's like stretched out and spread out. Very pretty. I really like this wildflower technique. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I hope you guys give it a try. It's just very freeing. You know, there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of flow, there's a lot of energy, and I love the colors, and I love that it's like two separate split cups of colors integrated into one. But I think the orange really sort of gives this one a bird of paradise feeling. So this is going to be wildflowers in paradise. I thank you guys all so much for being here with us. You guys mean so much to us, and... Honestly, it's been a wonderful year with all of you guys, and I really appreciate you a lot. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Oh. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh. <laughs> Can I see those lips? Oh. Sing for Mama. <laughs> Thanks, Paxi. Can you say Merry Christmas to everybody? Merry Christmas. <laughs>